surgery, they found out that my meniscus was torn as well. So that, um, you know, set me back just a little bit. I'm on crutches for four to six weeks now. This is this being the end of my third week. So right now I can't put any pressure on it. So my rehab really just consists of bending and straightening, straightening it, you know, just trying to fire up my uh, the muscles that I that I lost. And so right now that's pretty much it until I'm able to put pressure on it and, you know, start doing some really good strength things in that of that nature. So right now I just, you know, just bend and straighten it and I'll do like an arm work, bike workout for cardio and just a lift, like upper body lift. I think my whole time being in college I missed maybe two games because of an injury. It's a big shocker for me to be to know that I'm gonna miss the whole season. So it was my first, you know, injury like of this stature. And it was, you know, it was tough to hear at first, but then, you know, just the people that I'm around, like my coaches, teammates, you know, they assured me that it would be okay. You know, I've spoken to other players who have had the same injury and, you know, it's just all been in- encouraging. And so, you know, it, it helps me to feel better. It's a little bit slower than I would have liked, I guess, but as long as it's getting better and, you know, I'm making progress towards getting back on the court, I'm good. I love, I've loved it so far. Um, I'm, you know, at the stage where I'm able to play against people who I've looked up to, you know, watch and play as a, as a young girl. So that's pretty cool, you know, just get to be around them and learn from them and get better around them. You know, it's just just been a, a great experience for me. The big difference for me was, you know, coming to, to realize that I'm on my own now, you know, like we don't have team meals and you know, I pretty much go at my own pace. I don't have to worry about, you know, checking in or making sure it's okay for me to do this. Like I'm, you know, able to do whatever it is that I want. I mean, I like, yeah, it comes, it comes up a lot, but I try not to, to think about it like that. You know, it's, it's definitely not the same. We're not treated anywhere near as equal as the men. And, you know, that's just going from comments about people, you know, saying get back in the kitchen and, you know, things like that. But, you know, I'm doing something that I love to do. And, you know, no matter what, I'll I look at it like that. I'll go on social media, like just looking at things that, you know, people are doing in women's sports and, you know, just comments like that, more so social media, but then also, you know, People, you know, people say things about women and in sports and it's how it's not treated equally. They're like, oh, are you a high school team? And I'm like, no. You know, people just don't know. And so I think, you know, we need to do more to, you know, put ourselves out there and, you know, find ways to get people engaged and want to, you know, actually enjoy women's sports. Because sometimes I get people who have never been to a game and they finally come in like, oh, like, I love this. Like, this is been great and so I think that's part of it too like just getting people to come and actually see what it's about before they you know make judgment it's also I mean the upsides of it are the fact that we get to you know travel and you know go to places that we've never been before and experience different cultures and and things like that so that's a, that's a good part about it but uh it is it's different it it was good competition in Australia the league was was good it was it was different for me, you know, just being away from my family because I'm very, you know, close with my family. So that was a struggle for me at first. And then also the, the food was a little different. And so I was, you know, picky about what I ate, didn't eat, you know, all that I should have. But that was, the, that was the biggest thing for me. But other than that, I loved it. Australia is a great country. It was summertime over there, so I missed out on the winter. Like, the beaches were nice. So that was... You know, it was it was an experience, and you know, although I don't get to stay here all around, it does have its upsides as well. Just not to you know, not to worry yourself. You know, just just be confident. You you know, you're here for a reason, and just to, you know, just do, go out and try your hardest and be the best that you can be.